I'm experimenting with this old Cronheit model 3203 filter. And one interesting thing about it is that if I push the peak to peak input beyond five volts, I get some very weird nonlinear behavior. So that's on one of the high pass settings. So I have this on a low pass setting now. And if I push it past five volt, look at that. It like, it does clamp at the top, but it seems to actually expand for a little bit. That's interesting. Wonder if this is the making of a wild guitar pedal. Here's the low pass filter. And here's the high pass. Here is low pass filtered noise. Higher range. Let's try high pass filtering the noise. Alas, the knob for the filter on the left is a little janky. It's kind of okay down here, but at the top, it's just a little janky. Probably hard to hear on the video, but there's a tiny little bit of static. Anyway, I found three more of these sitting in a closet, unloved. Okay, here's a unit that, in addition to having a janky knob, has this really weird beating behavior. I'm putting in 120 hertz, but listen to how it sounds when I start to detune that 120 hertz. Now when I go down to 60, sixty-six, sixty-three. So it seems like there's sixty hertz something <laughs> beating against doing something weird. Okay, the knob on the left is also staticky and janky. But it doesn't have that beating behavior. That was the beating behavior is only on the right. Okay, so all four of them have janky knobs to some extent. Okay, so apparently it's necessary for me to loosen but not remove these screws. Okay, I can then remove the side panels. Okay, I got the side panels off. Manual doesn't mention it, but I think I have to take out this top screw. Oh, wow. Look at this. I love it. Okay, so down here to switch between the different filter modes, we have this rotary switch here. That's a whole lot of stuff. And up here we have the main knobs and each of these... <laughs> Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. So the knob is connected to the shaft, which is connected to these gears. And then these gears go over here and turn these pots. Oh, I love this so much. Okay, I guess it's deoxid time. I really love this old test equipment. This is so cool. Wait a minute, where am I supposed to spray the deoxid? I'm used to there being like a little tab on the back here, but this is all sealed up. Is there something on the other side that I can't see and can't get to where I'm supposed to spray it? Or is there something down here? Again, I can't really see what's going on in there, let alone get to it easily. Huh. 
If anyone has a clue, please let me know.